guys welcome back to the channel and if some of you know me or Vince then you know that he's my husband I am his wife and sometimes we do videos together and sometimes we do videos separately exactly so we're going to do this video together this is going to be about not losing weight on keto yes. and this video is basically a compilation because my wife here is a certified keto coach. Look, you never saw this, guys. I always forget to show this to you. This is a Dr. Eric Berg certified keto cert. Exactly. So she has gotten quite some clients now and has a lot of experience with the trouble that, that people have. And if you are interested in getting coached by her, you can check out our website. The link is in the description. Yeah. So make sure to check it out. But otherwise, in this video, we're going to give you the problem that most people have and the solution to those problems. So we really hope this will debug your progress if you need this. And uh, if it didn't help, please let us know in the comments or hit or us up. Or if you up. have more questions about it. Yeah, if you have yeah. more questions, hit us up in the comments. You can sign up for coaching and then we see if we can help you. So the number one or the first problem that most of your My clients, clients have is what? Eat, eating non-keto food. I have clients who are coming in to me and they are like, keto does not work for me or I am not getting the results I want. And then when we start the interview, then it turns out that they do consume food that is not keto friendly. And that most of the time is soy milk or rice milk or bananas, uh, artificial sweeteners like aspartame, and pretty much that's all or they eat a lot of msg type of thing what is like spiking uh, the taste buns and also one thing what i see lately that there is a lot of keto products out there what labeled like keto friendly and it's a keto cookie or it's a keto chip and then if you would read the ingredients you find a bunch of stuff in it that is really not keto friendly and they spike your insulin they activate your fat storing hormones and the best example for that is this uh, vegetable chips companies lately doing what is like you think it's keto friendly because it's like just root beet chips or whatever but when you see what they fry it in it's vegetable oils what is highly spiking insulin so to give you a very easy solution to this problem so that you by yourself can know what is keto food and what is not keto food the reason why the keto diet works is because it mirrors how people ate 10,000 years ago and this is how our body evolved through evolution and when you go back to eating how your body was supposed to work in the first place your body suddenly loses weight it's uh, not more complicated than that so basically vegetables are okay yeah. meats are okay you know even for example oils are okay but not vegetable oils because vegetable oils don't occur naturally they no. have to go through a process and they actually spike your insulin very much so they are not good so anytime when you're in the store and you're going to buy something you have to ask this question could i eat this if we were 10,000 years ago so if you have this keto protein bar that is sweet no. with no sugar no. you ask would this exist 10,000 years ago? And if the answer is no, it's probably not keto friendly, even though it says keto friendly. Yeah. And where you have to take this with a grain of salt, as you would say in Swedish, is that obviously if your metabolism is very fast or you're very healthy, your body is able to handle a bit more. Or if you are younger, if you are in your early 20s, probably you can still get away with uh, keto friendly chips exactly so the harder it is for you to lose weight or the more trouble you're having on the keto diet the more strict you have to be so if you're having a lot of trouble losing weight despite eating keto friendly stuff and ice cream and protein bars I'm really sorry to break it to you but you have to quit it if you want to lose weight yeah all right so what is the second biggest problem that your clients have stress all right, tell me about stress. Yeah, if you have people who annoys you or you feel that people are like just sucking energy from you or even just a workplace where you hate to go and you being screamed all the time by your boss or anything like this or you just have a mother-in-law, then... Uh, just mother-in-law, any mother-in-law. Any mother-in-law. Or, mother -in -law. or a stressing mother-in-law. 
like a stressing mother. Oh, okay, okay. Then this oil spikes cortisol in your system and cortisol is a fat storing hormone and it's so powerful that it cancels out all your fat burning abilities. So it's really hard to lose weight if you are constantly having a high cortisol level due to stress. So what is the solution? I usually say that do some acupuncture massage from Dr. A. Berg. It's really effective to download your body and also just cut out those people. Like if you need to take distance, don't meet as much, take walks, like you really need to find a way how you isolate stress or things that keeps you a lot of stress in order to build a healthier lifestyle. There is no other way around. And because we completely didn't have this problem. No, we did not. Exactly. <laughs> we happen to know that there is supplements that you can take. For example, Eric Berg has uh, this adrenal and cortisol support pill. We're going to put some links yeah. in the description. And as my wife mentioned, there's this massage tool. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, and I mean you. It looks like a sex toy, but it's not. exactly it's not. <laughs> it's uh, relieving stress. So basically, you can do this by yourself. You don't have to buy this tool, but uh, I mean you can use your hands. It's made after Dr. Eric Burke's hands, different yeah. sizes. The the back part is is very hard to do. We're also going to link Dr. Eric Burke's uh, video on yeah. on uh, how, how to, to do, do this uh, stress massage. But it's amazing, and it's also amazing for third problem that is coming, and that is... Ah, insomnia, when you can't sleep. Like whatever you do, you are not able to get sleep during the night. And I see this especially with older clients, like I would say around 50 and up, people have insane problem just sleeping, like get any type of sleep. This of course comes with a collected up stress and all this stuff. But this tool also can help to download those areas in your body to give you a more restful sleep and improve step by step. Or you can take supplements for that. Exactly. The reason why sleep is so damn important for uh, weight loss is because uh, sleep resets your body. And there is, uh, for example, there are certain hormones that become very active yeah. uh, when you sleep. One of them is growth hormone and growth hormone is the main fat burning yeah. hormone so basically most of your fat burning happens at night when you sleep, sleep. so no sleep no fat burning it's very simple if you have a sleep issue it's going to be impossible to lose weight so it absolutely has to be handled as my wife said there is uh, solutions and there is also supplements also by Eric Berg uh, you have a sleep aid. I actually had to take this because yeah. I had a lot of problem with the sleeping. We have small kids. I even had to use earplugs to not wake up for anything. Uh, then again, everything that we said for the stress because stress can keep you from sleeping. As well. Exactly. So you would also use this massage tool for stress so that you can get the sleep in. And also, if you're well slept, it also reduces stress. Yes. Your body becomes more able to handle stress. So this point number two and three, they go hand in hand. Uh, like most probably if you have stress, then you have also bad sleep. And yeah. most probably if you have bad sleep, you will have stress because you will be oversensitive for things. An absolute must handle if you want to lose weight on the keto diet. Yes. Cool. So now we go to point number four, which is actually not so obvious. We have a lot of people who actually a lot of people have problems. You with just this. don't know. So it is indigestion, bloating, digestive problems, and constipation. This could not be more obvious. If you cannot digest food, then you cannot take the nutrition from the food. Yeah. And if you cannot take the nutrition, then your body is not going to work as it should, and you will be deficient in vitamins. And what is so tricky in this is that you can take the supplements and the vitamins and you think that you're taking the vitamins, but it just actually is very expensive piss that comes out on the other end. Yeah, because you can't absorb it. Exactly. And if you are lacking nutrition, it puts stress on the body. Also for good sleep, you need certain nutrition, for example, potassium and magnesium to be able to Get sleep a rest well. Mostly. 
exactly so this is a super super mega important thing uh, to handle the problem with this one is that there is no easy handling like uh, we no, should... it's like usually very complex and comes from different issues so it's like a little bit of a try and error and see for over a period of time what works for you and where you see improvements Exactly, but let's give a few examples of how digestion or like a few common problems to... I mean the most common is like bloating and constipation, like there are people who don't go to number two for like a week and then they want to lose weight and this food that they consume the entire week is just sitting in the gut and then they get bloated and pain and then it just activates more bacteria and then more microbes and then it's like totally off like it's really hard to lose weight if you have this situation it's impossible so i see that's the most common thing like if i have 10 clients uh out of 10 nine has one of those either they are bloated constipated having some sort of indigestion and they have a really hard time to lose weight like this. Mm, but what is like, uh, the, for example, if you bloat, like what is the most common reason and what's the easiest or most common? I mean, memory? usually when you bloat, that is like you have lack of stomach acid. Your stomach is not acidic enough, so you are not able to absorb and break down food as you should. And what I usually say to drink apple cider vinegar drink, you take a glass of water, you add a tablespoon of uh, apple cider vinegar, lemon so it tastes somewhat variable and the straw so you don't get damage on your teeth and you can do this with every meal at least like two times a day or even maybe three times a day if it's really bad for you and this will definitely gonna help with bloating and constipation yeah but sometimes some people also need uh, some friendly bacteria an extra pill or a digestive enzyme to just get things going yeah, this is a very complicated yeah. issue. Let us know in the comments if you have questions about this. Let's see if we can help you with it. Or you can Google and look for solutions on the internet and we will also do videos about yeah. this. But definitely has to be handled if you want to lose weight on keto. So now we go to number five, which is that most of your clients that uh, do keto do not have time to cook for themselves. Yes and they eat in restaurants why is that bad because you don't know what you get like you go to a restaurant and they really like to use stuff what makes food taste better like chemicals and different things so you want to eat more you order more that's the business about so when you go to a restaurant you really don't know what is on your food and then you just get cravings and yeah things like that yeah, so what is the solution for I this? mean, it's way better to just go to any grocery store and grab a piece of cheese, some veggies and maybe some salami and that would do better if you have no time to cook or eat anything than to go to a restaurant. Yeah, also, uh, for example, I'm also a guy who has, I run, I'm involved in three companies and uh, I have basically no time. And eating one meal a day and uh, that's that's a very good solution because it's very good for weight loss and it takes a lot of time out from your day from making food and most of the people if they if we're honest we can we can make one meal a day i understand that we cannot make five and uh, italian whatever restaurant style food for ourselves no one has time for that but yeah one meal we can we can cook eggs or something that is nice i mean and that's keto. what you do yeah <laughs> nice and keto friendly so now we come to and also very common problem why people cannot lose weight but it's very counterintuitive yes and what is that it's overtraining so you're saying that people go to the gym and they, and train. they die in the gym for like six seven class a week and then that actually stops them from losing weight yeah when they're doing this to lose weight yes that's a funny one so why does that happen because the same things happens as stress does like exercise is a form of stress on the body and unfortunately your body doesn't make a difference so if you like over stress especially you are not resting out soreness that act as the stress source like the same as an unknowing boss or anything like this and this is just spikes cortisol meaning all the health benefits you would get from exercise being cancelled out because 
too much exercise activate fat storing hormone and that's cortisol all right so what is the solution the solution is usually when people do six seven class or gymming every day uh, during the week and they are saying i can't lose weight or i am gaining instead of losing i suggest to cut back on training go maybe every other day and if you are sore then rest out the soreness completely before they return to the gym and usually they just do better with that all right i mean i was also definitely one of these people because i have a bit too much stress in my life and whenever i trained i actually just gained weight so i have a complete reality on this and actually for me it was enough just to diet to lose weight yeah Actually, diet is 85% of the job and the last 15% is the right exercise to your body type or body needs in a certain way. So food, actually more important, especially in the beginning, if you have a lot of overweight, I'm talking about 20, 40 X amount of pounds of overweight. Just do keto first and lose majority of your weight because it's already very stressful for the body to carry like 40 and plus pounds and if you add exercise to that it's just too much so now we go to our last point and that is expectations versus reality yes that's so my favorite this is really funny because <laughs> some clients can think like oh my god nothing is happening this week i only lost uh 0 0.5 pounds and they're actually doing good but then they don't think that they're doing good and yeah. here's the sad truth so there is certain things that uh, that have an effect on how much weight you're going to lose on keto and how fast you're going to lose it and how easy of a time you're going to have and that is your age and because the younger you are the faster your metabolism yeah. the easier it is to lose weight if you have been overweight for a very long time, then your body adjusts to this and it will have a hard time letting go of this weight. Uh, if you have done a lot of diets in the past, especially calorie counting, calorie counting does not or low calorie. Exactly, <laughs> when you do low calories and people are trying to starve their body on 500 and different type of calorie restriction, but actually does, it breaks your metabolism. So if you did that in the past and now you are on keto and you're trying to be successful with keto, it's gonna be harder for those clients who did that in the past, have a harder time to lose weight because they just broke their metabolism. It's completely slowed down and now it has to be recovered to a normal state and then weight loss will follow. So just you to know that if you have that situation. Okay, the healthy weight loss a week for a, with a really really good metabolism it's from 0.4 kilo to 0.9 kilo a week that's actual that's, fat you can lose that's one to two pounds per week yeah to to, to make, make it make clear. it make it simple so basically if you are older uh, Meaning like higher in the age close to 40 and up and you're a woman yeah especially women yeah and you have tried a lot of diets under the sun everything yeah then probably if you're losing half a pound a week, you are doing, doing awesome. Extremely good. I can good. tell you from personal experience that that's a really good progress. So if you're losing this weight, then you're actually doing very good. You don't have to look for what is wrong with your keto diet. Just carry on and do it and you will lose the weight. And of course, everything we say here is from my coaching personal experience or from our own experience. <laughs> so this was the video, guys. Make sure you give it a like if you Love. liked it. And of course, subscribe to the channel. What do you and do comment if you're below. not subscribed yet? And see you in our next video. Bye-bye, guys. Ciao, ciao.